This video is all about living in Calusa, California, and we're starting right now. Moody here, owner of EasyHouseSense.com, realtor with Realty One Group, serving Northern California. I'm very blessed to have the best clients in real estate, and I'd be honored to help you and your family with your real estate needs. Just give me a call or a text at 916-382-2510, or email me using the link provided in the pinned comments, and we will set up an appointment, and we'll talk about it. So I usually do Yuba Sutter and South Placer in my videos, but we're doing Calusa today. So Calusa, drum roll, spoiler alert, is in Calusa County. So uh, we're going to go into kind of where it's located, but I've got kind of a funny story about Calusa from when I was a kid that I wanted to relay real quick. Uh, so when I was a kid, um, my uncle was getting married to this woman who was from Calusa, and uh, the wedding was uh, at the country club by the golf course. Well, it was in the golf course. And, uh, you know, on the way to the wedding, uh, Grandpa uh, ended up having, like, a heart attack and uh, ended up requiring, like, a quadruple bypass. Uh, now, it all worked out, and Grandpa lived to be close to 90 years old. But uh, I just remember when that happened, it was just a very strange atmosphere in the wedding, and I don't know if it was my father or my brother that said it, but they're like, oh, this, this, this marriage is doomed. Yeah, that, that marriage was doomed. But, uh, that, was, that was fun. Grandpa had this, uh, you know, 77 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. Grandpa had a lot of taste, had, had good taste in cars, I gotta say. Grandpa, Grandpa knew what was going on when it came to his vehicular choices. So let's go ahead and show you where Calusa is located. So Calusa is located here in... Uh, Calusa County. It is west of Yuba City. So if you wanted to go into Yuba City to maybe uh, partake in some of the shopping there or maybe have a little bit more of kind of a nightlife, head down to uh, Pluma Street, maybe, you know, have some cocktails at the Happy Viking, etc. Then uh, it would take you about 30 minutes from Calusa to get to Yuba City. Now, and that's going down Highway 20. So if you wanted to get to Sacramento for a night on the town or shopping or to visit someone, see the Railroad Museum, whatever, the capital, got multiple routes here. So uh, they have you taking, uh, and they all are about the same. So if you go the I-5 route, it's going to take you about an hour and five minutes. Uh, if you go the 113 route, which is a little bit more scenic, I actually really like the 113 route. Just uh, just an aside here, folks, if you're, if you're going the 113 route, make sure that you're gassed up because not a lot of gas along there. So uh, the 113 route is going to be about an hour and 12 minutes, so not that much different. And then uh, you, you've got the Highway 99 route through, you, you know, close to Yuba City, through Yuba City. And that's also about an hour and nine minutes. And then if you want to uh, go to the Roseville Galleria and, and see the... Do some shopping there, you know, maybe go to the, the, the mall, go to Restoration Hardware, check out some of the cool furniture they have. Maybe, uh, is it Nordstrom or Bloomingdale's? I don't know. One of those. Whatever. Go shopping there and check things out. Um, then that will take you also about an hour and eight minutes. And uh, the quickest route would be through Highway 20 and then through Marysville down 70 and down to 65. And so that has been the location and the distances from Calusa, California. So Calusa is known for having a mushroom plant, yes. They grow mushrooms in Calusa, and, I've tr I've, and occasionally you can smell the smell of mushrooms coming from Calusa, and uh, it's, it's a very unique feature of Calusa. You probably drive by that thing all the time when you go in there, but uh, here's some, some B-roll. You can kind of see the type. I believe agaricus is the type of mushroom, and here's an example of the types of mushrooms that they grow. I believe this actually came 
This video is from KCR3, so you get a pretty good idea, pretty typical of what you might find in your, your local supermarket. But the mushroom plant does, I am occasionally emit an odor. So if a mushroom odor is something that is unpleasant to you or uh, it's not something that you like to smell, then that could be a con for you. But if you're really into ag and you think it's cool that they have a mushroom plant, well, then this is going to be a huge pro for you for living in Calusa. Told that story about my grandpa having the heart attack and my uncle's wedding in Calusa. If I wasn't going to show you the actual place that it uh, took place at, and that is, of course, the... Uh, the Calusa Golf and Country Club here. So it's a nine hole golf course. And uh, as you can see here, pretty nice. And here, uh, here's the fee structure as of this date, April 20th, 2023. So it talks about uh, the membership dues, the guest passes. You can get uh, an application there if you want to. If you golf enough where this makes sense to you, absolutely. So um, single membership 105, family membership 120, et cetera. And there it has the yearly fees. So that's all broken down. Here's how much it is uh, to play. So it's, it's pretty reasonably priced country club. And of course, uh, as we mentioned, they, they of course do have events you can rent uh, the country club out for. As you can see, they have a photo gallery here, people having fun. Uh, I don't see anybody having heart attacks here, so that's good. Ah, so yeah, that would be the reception room where uh, I think my uncle's wedding was at, wedding reception. I don't actually remember the wedding. I don't know if I even made it to the wedding. I think I just made it to the reception. But it's well worth checking out, and it's definitely a nice thing to have in Calusa, California. If you like what I do here on living in Northern California, I would absolutely love it if you would hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to ring the bell for notifications so you never miss a thing. What I love about Lusa is the hunting and the fishing that's available there. Being off the Sacramento River, of course, you have lots of access to fishing opportunities there. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look here and see what the California Department of Fish and Wildlife has to say about uh, the hunting and fishing in Calusa. So here we go. Uh, the Calusa Bypass Wildlife Area. There's an approximately 1,200 acre bypass wildlife area. And uh, in addition to being for flood management, uh, you have lots of hunting opportunities for um, you know, deer, pheasant, snipe, and dove. And uh, I've heard duck hunting is not too bad out here as well. But there's, uh, there's quite a bit of hunting opportunities in Calusa. And then the fishing here, uh, according to the website here. I don't, I, now, look, I, I'm not much of a hunter or a fisherman. I'm a better fisherman than I am a hunter. Unfortunately, I am a terrible shot. I've, I mean, I've got these, ter I've got terrible eyesight and... I'm very uncoordinated, and I've always been uncoordinated. But uh, anytime my dad and I would go fishing, so I'm not a good, I'm not a great fisherman. But my dad is an even worse fisherman than I am. Uh, he's just like either too much on the pole, you know, reeling it in, recasting, and doing that stuff and scaring the fish off, or he just will leave it alone and the fish will just make off with the bait. So I'm a little bit better of a fisherman than he is, but. Uh, what you what you can find there uh fishing for king salmon steelhead rainbow trout and striped bass is excellent in this stretch of the sacramento river anglers take consistent catches of catfish shad carp and sturgeon the fall run of salmon comes in september and october you can also catch them from november november through january though the fishing during high water isn't as satisfying the spring run is april through june the steelhead run is from late August to the end of October, striped bass from April through June, and shad from May to mid-June. Bank fishing is the easiest from the river's northwest bank outside the park, or you can take the trail to the park's gravel bar beach area. You'll be most successful if you fish by boat, searching out the deep holes in the riverbed. So, it's always good advice. Anyway, I'll post some links to that below. You can check it out for yourself. So hunting and fishing 
in Calusa. Next up, another nice thing that Calusa has is the Calusa Casino Resort. And I've been there really only a couple of times. Uh, I went with, uh, with a friend that lived in Calusa, and uh, we both generally have terrible luck. But uh, I ended up winning $200 at the casino that night. Uh, so that became my new favorite casino. But it's, it's nice. It's not very far outside of town. Usually, you know, they'll have different events and things of that nature that you can check out. Uh, here, example, here is the website for the Calusa Casino. Rustic Luxury Awaits. So you can see there they offer gas. Uh, there are their prices as of this date. Talks a little bit about um, the River Valley Lodge, which is the hotel portion of it. So it does, it does have a very rustic feel. Uh, pictures really don't quite do it justice here. And uh, they have a really nice bar. I like the way the Calusa Casino is set up. The way the bars are set up and the way the gaming is set up and the way they have the different areas and the different rooms. And it's not too huge. There weren't like super big crowds, at least when I was there. And it's just, a, you know, it's a real friendly atmosphere. For example, um, if you go to the Hard Rock at Fire Mountain, the Sacramento Hard Rock that's not in Sacramento, that's uh, really in like Wheatland, if you want to be technical, that one can get kind of crowded sometimes. And uh, Thunder Valley also can get kind of crowded sometimes. Quite honestly, any one of those casinos that I just mentioned has been better than my experiences in Las Vegas have been. Um, when I've gone to Las Vegas, you know, I don't know if anybody else has gone through this or not, but when I've gone to Las Vegas, you know, I just get, when you walk on like those pedestrian bridges, you know, you're just like, they're all these hustlers and freaking you know, scammers and schemers trying to rope you into like, uh, you know, some shell game or something weird or get you to buy something. And then you'll have like, um, you know, you'll just get like choked out with, uh, with like marijuana smoke all over the place. And there are a lot of homeless people. And, uh, I mean, Las Vegas certainly has some things that are cool, but it's nice to be able to just go to the casino, win or lose, have a cocktail, hang out with friends, and go home. And so that's what I enjoy about these smaller casinos. And, you know, I just, I like the vibe of the Calusa Casino. And I think you will too. And so if you move there and you want to have those occasional nights on the town, just as I described, it's definitely there for you. And that is for sure a huge plus of living in Calusa. Got questions about living in Calusa, California? Click the link in the pinned comments to set up a meeting with me, or you can always call or text at 916-382-2510, or you can send me an email at westmoodyrealtor at gmail.com. Kind of what's available in Calusa right now. So we'll take a look at that. Um, so we've gone, done a search. Uh, so here's what's available. There are currently 10 homes listed for sale in Calusa. And if you want to know the boring statistics, here's kind of an idea of, of uh, what, what they are, the prices and the square footage, of what's available. This one's been for sale for a while. It's kind of a little bit out, you know, in the sticks a bit. And so, you know, you get a wide variety of different architectural styles, different ages of the homes. And just let me know if uh, there's something in particular that you're looking for. Here you have kind of a ranch style home. Here you have more contemporary homes. So, and Calusa, California spe speaking, is still a pretty, pretty good, pretty good buy. But if you go in here, you'll see what homes, uh, what the averages are. This is, uh, these are the statistics. So, there have been 16 homes sold in the last 90 days. The average square foot of the homes that have sold has been 1,766 square feet. The average price per square foot has been $258.94. The average days on market, so if you have a Calusa home and you want to sell your Calusa home, uh, you can expect to be on the market, if you are priced correctly, about 48 days. And the average 
price of a home that gets sold in Calusa right now is $437,877. So those are the averages. The highest priced home that sold in Calusa in the last 90 days was for $885,000. The lowest, $195,000. Yeah, it talks about the median, but the median doesn't mean anything to me. The median is just the, the middle number. So whatever the highest is and the lowest, the median is right in the middle. I don't like that statistic. I prefer the average. I think the average gives you somewhat more reliable data than the median. I think the median is skewed, and it's kind of, quite honestly, median, I, I kind of almost feel like it's cheating a bit on your statistics. So that doesn't do a lot for me. So, yes, uh, Calusa, in comparison to what you get versus what you buy, you know, what you spend, you're getting quite a quite a bit in Calusa. And the added benefit of that is if you're um, a lot of times I'll have uh, clients that that uh, that are trying to flee like their adult children and uh, get away from them. So the tip here is don't tell them where you're moving. And then, uh, you know, the great thing about Calusa is that if you're coming from Sacramento, you're going to be a more than an hour drive away from them. And if you have any other relatives that you're trying to dodge, Calusa is great for that as well. If they're uh, outside of the Calusa area, it's just it's just funny how, what happens sometimes with with some of these folks. Uh, you know, you know. Oh, I need money. Uh, really? What happened to the money I gave you before? My dog ate it, and then a hawk flew down and picked up the dog, and then a vulture attacked the hawk, and then the vulture got sucked into an airplane engine, and so I need more money. That is so unlucky. How does that keep happening to you? You've got the worst luck in the world. And so you can just hit the block button and not have to see those people. Anyway, that's been our video. See ya. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for our latest videos. See ya.